forest to search out some entertainment. The autumn colours are in their full glory and soon it will be Christmas with all the excitement that it brings. At Christmas there are many old traditions and customs like carol singing, wassailing, kissing under the mistletoe and many more. God save the Queen! Now, may I introduce you to Mr Holly! Tis the season to be jolly, so in comes I, Mr Holly, from hedgerow, tree and bush. I am come to tell thee about some mama boys that are hereabouts, but I cannot tell thee whereabouts. They come to show you a play about good overcoming evil. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Perfect Mummers. In comes I, Bo Romer. Bo Romer is my name. I'm come to show you merry sport, to see you through the winter. Old activity, new activity and such activity you've never seen before and never will be seen no more. Then comes I, old father Abraham. Welcome or welcome not. I do hope so father Abraham will never be forgot. Room, room, gallons of room, for in this place there shall be shown the most dreadfulest battle was ever known between my two sons and King George. Walk in, King George. Walk in. In comes I, King George, <laughs> man of courage bold, with my sword and buckler by my side. I won ten crowns of gold. It was I who fought the fiery dragon and brought him to the slaughter. And by means of this and that, I won the King of Egypt's daughter. See me draw my fine English weapon. <coughs> Is there not a man in all this fine land that I cannot cut down with my credit hand? In comes I, Bo Romer. Bo Romer is my name. I'll fight King George and take away his fame. For in less than three minutes, I'll take thy life away. So, battle to battle, you and I shall call to see who on this ground shall fall. Battle to battle, you and I shall play to see who on this ground shall lay. So guard your hits, mind your blows. Likewise, your face, your eyes, your nose. Also. So, Oh. One nil. Oh, 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 whoa. Come in, Bo Slasher. Let's see what you can do. In comes I, Bo Slasher. Bo Slasher is my name. I'll fight King George and all his noble train. Ah, my friend, George is here. And I shall quickly take thy life from thee, or thee from me. For satisfaction, I shall have, before we go our way. No satisfaction at all, King George. For, in less than three minutes, I'll take thy life away. So, battle to battle, you and I shall call to see who, upon this ground, shall fall. Hey, battle to battle, you and I shall play, to see who on this ground shall lay. So guard your hits, mind your blows. Likewise, your face and eyes, and nose. Also! So! Hey! Oh. Oh. Two nil. You not need knuckered old nose back. See what you've gone and done. You've killed my two sons' lives. Bleeding on the ground. A doctor, a doctor. 
Is there a doctor to be found that can cure my two sons lies bleeding on the ground? Five pounds for a doctor. Ten pounds to stay away. Fifty guineas and a booper card and I'll come in. Well, you better come in then. We haven't got all day. In comes I, a doctor. And how comes you be a doctor? By my travels, sir. And what, pray, be your travels? Italy, Whitney, France and Spain. Twice round Wareham and back again. And what can you cure, O oh noble-handed doctor? Let's see now. Ipsy, tipsy, palsy gout. Pains within and pains without. Cure the sick and heal the lame and bring dead men back to life again. Well, you best try your skills on these two sons lies bleeding on the ground. I have a little bottle by my side, the fame of which spreads far and wide. The stuff therein is a la campaign. It'll bring your dead boys back to life again. A drop on the heart, a drop on the skull, will open their eyes and make them alive. Now, look what I have done. Always look on the bright side of life. In comes I, the Turkish knight. On Turkey land I learn to fight. I'll fight King George, the man of courage bold. And if his blood be hot, I'll fetch it cold. Ho oh, oh, ho, my little fellow, your talk is rather small. Just like those little mama boys. Or well, so I've been told. Take out thy sword to fight. Take out your purse to pay. For satisfaction I shall have before we go away. Ha! No satisfaction at all. For my head is made of iron and my body lined with steel. I'll fight King George to see who upon this ground shall kneel. And I shall quickly take thy life from thee or thee from me. So battle to battle you and I shall call to see who upon this ground shall fall. So, hey, battle to battle you and I shall play to see who on this ground shall lay. So guard your hits, mind your blows. Likewise, your face, your eyes and nose. Also. So, Proud Turk. Down on bended knee, proud Turk to thee. Spare my life, a Turkey slave to thee. Arise, proud Turk. Go home to thy land. Go home to thy land and tell what champion George has done so jolly well for old England. Now I am going home. Pray. <laughs> Give me my free discharge. <coughs> God bless the King of England, and likewise his champion, George. In comes I, old Trim Tram, left of the press gang. And I've come to press all you good fellows to see. We're going to fight the French and the Spaniards. Although my name is Johnny Jack, me wife and family on me back. Although my family may be small, I think myself the best man of all. Think yourself best man of all? Why, I knew your father bought pigs off him. Had to put yokes on them to stop them going down the sinkhole. Best man of all? <laughs> I think I'll take a rap at you myself. Right. Well, come on then. Stop. Stop. 
Behind you, there's three ale. Where? Oh, oh. At Mother's house. Oh! Ah, oh, that got him. Ha <laughs> ha! Took him by surprise. Good masters, good mistresses. See what I've been and done. I've knocked old Father Abraham down, just like the setting sun. Now as I stand here at my ease, ladies and gentlemen, give us as you please. The Parbeck Mummers, thank you. Bring us a barrel and set it upright. Bring us a barrel to last us the night. Bring us a barrel, no matter how high. We'll drink it up, lads. We'll drink it dry. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. To show their arts to one and all, their travels and cures will be assessed to see which doctor is the best. Step in, Dr. Quack, and lead the way. Oh yes, a doctor can be found already near at hand to cure a deep and deadly wound and make this um, champion stand. Now, of your skills we must be sure so tell me doc what can you cure thanks to the miracles of zoom i cure diseases right from my room i've deleted delusions in datchet i've tweeted away twinges in twickenham i've healed the ailing in healing and i've googled away gallstones in greenfood I've even cured Wombles in Windsor. But the Wombles are in Wimbledon. They are now. And what is your fee? One hundred pounds is my usual fee. But as he's a saint, I'll cure for three. So, noble doctor, earn your fee. The final hope is my a la campaign. Stockpile for when Brexit we obtain. Here, George. Open up your flip-flop and take a little drip drop. Now, St. George, rise up and fight again. I have the cure for every pain. I eventually brought St. George to life again. <laughs> Greetings, fellow thespians from the Guild that's Hippocratic as we celebrate our skill set from mundane to most dramatic. We carry out our duties with skill and much persistence and somehow save our patients with or without assistance. My practice covers all of 
this kingdom to the north, a fact I sometimes do regret each time I sally forth. The transport systems hit and miss, appointments are a gamble, and reaching patients sometimes means a lengthy nature ramble. Some skeptics have been known to ask just where I got my knowledge. I've picked it up from here and there. I've had no need of college. My ingredients come from far away across deserts, hills and oceans to meet their perfectly honoured fate in my carefully distilled potions, but to the point. From Dumfries up to John O'Groats, <gasps> I've bandaged cuts, I've peered down throats and stitched an empty head. It's also my most favourite boast. I've even raised the dead. My specific Hoxie Croxie has many secrets in it, and I've seen it bring about a cure in a fraction of a minute. It contains all the ingredients known to the witches three, but also little extras known only unto me. The means of application is generally external, and it prompts words of gratitude, sincere, heartfelt, eternal. My fees are very negotiable by negotiation, but I also take bottles of wine as a sign of appreciation. And so, when sickness comes to call, remember Dr. Brown. Her rhyming may be suspect, but she will not let you down. You look like a doctor. That is clear. But tell us all, whence come you here? O'er the hills and o'er the main, Flanders, Portugal and Spain, to Wimbledon and back again. I have plaster, potions, poisons, pills, some I cures and some I kills. For a broken leg I can soothe the pain. If you break your neck, I'll set it again. I can cure anything conceivable, and my fees are very reasonable. What proof have we that you have skill, and can really help those who are ill? I am properly certified, and few of my patients have recently died. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Meet the Doctor. I am a doctor. How do you know I'm a doctor? Good question. I am a doctor because I have a doctor's hat. I have a doctor's bag. I have a doctor's bedside manner. I only charge my fee in guineas. Lots of it, please. And I have travelled far in my doctorship. Italy, Italy, High Germany, France, Spain. Now I am returned to cure diseases in Canada once again. Ah, my 14 seconds isolation is complete. I am now free to do what I will. I am here this evening to pass on some of my specialised information to the local country doctors, who maybe not be so familiar with our big city methodologies. I have just brought in from the garden for this evening a small dragon who was in hibernation, so he's just in a bit of a dormant state, so nothing to worry about. I will give him now one of my very special tests. If I can open this bag. It's called the cat scan. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, perfect. Thank you. So we will have to resort to a couple of tablets of a la campaign as usual. Okay, thank you. Call me back in March. Bye. 
Thank you very much and good evening. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you, good doctors. And now we wait for our judges to deliberate. What's that? What's that? What's that you say? Dr. Quack of Datchet has won the day? Doctor, thank you for your attention. Now go and vaccinate the nation! Past and present are as one, now that our story has begun. Room, room, some room I pray. Step in St George and lead the way. <laughs> bold with my axe and sword I won ten crowns of gold I'll fight the fiery dragon and lead him to the slaughter and by these means I'll win the king of Egypt's daughter <laughs> Come from the northern lands to fight. I come to fight St George, the man of courage bold. And if his blood be hot, I soon will make it cold. Draw your sword and fight, or draw thy purse and pay. For satisfaction I will have before I go away. <laughs> deadly wound.
I the doctor steed? Yes, I can talk, of course. I'd even sing a song for you, but I'm a little horse. Still, I can do a little dance if I some music here. And then when I have finished, perhaps you'll give a cheer. <laughs> In comes I who never came, with my great big head and my little brain. Although my bag it is but small, I've got more than enough to cure you all. I drop to the head, I drop to the brain, I rise bold slasher to fight again. Slasher is defeated. He'll never more me curse. He's become a school's inspector. Which do you think is worse? I'm now away to Egypt upon this trusty horse to fight the fiery dragon and win a bride, of course. Georgie was a knight so bold Four bold slashers, so we're told Rode away upon his steed Ready for his next good deed On his horse he rode away So the dragon he could slay land to win the sweet princess's hand fight from my fiery bed. Where's the man who against me will stand? I'll cut him down with my courageous hand. Should a noble knight fight the things that might prevent him doing right? I've also saved the princess from a woeful fate. So now I need the courage to ask her for a date. In comes the princess, ooh, 
Comes the princess, ooh and ah. So now the time has come for you to take a wife. So stop this gallivanting and charging round and round. Return home to your castle. It's time to settle down. Make it loud.